Hey, Dear Factory fans, welcome back to the channel. Today, just a quick video on a new feature that we're adding to Fabric Data Factory that makes it super easy for you to be able to save a pipeline that you're working on that's in progress, but not everything in it is valid yet. Um, and so essentially, we're going to automate the way that you can deactivate those activities. Now, I have a video already up on the channel that you can find where I talk about how to manually do this, uh, essentially using the uh, activity deactivate option. Now, the reason why this is important is because as you're in progress working on your pipelines, you may have a design that you want to save, but you can't complete configuration on it yet. You're not ready to automate this through a trigger or a schedule, but it's a work in progress and you want to save where you're at. Now within Fabric Data Factory, that is a little tricky because uh, you have to have that configuration of the pipeline saved in the Metastore for the workspace definition of your pipeline item. And so it has to be validated. And so the way that you do this mainly set those invalid activities to deactivate. And the reason that works is because a pipeline is essentially set up as a series of activities. And so it's those activities that the configuration is not quite ready yet. So when you deactivate those, you can then save the pipeline. Now, before I show you what this feature looks like, I do want to just state that for those of you coming from Azure Data Factory, or Azure Synapse Analytics pipelines, uh, it's a little bit of a different working methodology in Fabric Data Factory. For example, in ADF, when you connect into your Git repo for your factory, we actually save the JSON definitions of your pipeline and those activities um, as text files. And so we don't need to validate those. Those just get stored inside of your repo. Um, and then we don't validate until you actually go to publish that. Now, inside of Fabric Data Factory, it's a little bit of a different working methodology, what I mentioned earlier, which is that we need to save the factory definition first, so it needs to be valid. And then that definition goes into your Git repo secondary to that. All right. So the feature is essentially automating what I was talking about earlier, the video I have already on the channel of how to deactivate those invalid things. Essentially, what we like to think of as commenting out your code or commenting out the parts of your pipeline that are not yet valid. All right. So the pipeline I have on the screen is valid. I have configured my copy activity and all I have is just the copy activity for now. So when I click validate, it is valid. And when I go to save, I can save everything's good and happy. That's the happy path. But if I start working on this some more and adding some other logic to it, let's say I want to add something really simple like a wait activity. Now the wait activity has a default value for the required property of wait time in seconds. So again, this is valid and I can save. So my work in progress is saved. I can keep on working on this, this pipeline. Now let's say the use case is I need to add a notebook activity after these two activities. And the notebook activities, the notebook itself is actually being designed and built by a data engineer. And that data engineer is not quite done yet with their work. So I can't add a notebook yet, but I want to save my logic. I want, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm just waiting for that last dependency. But if I go to validate this, it's going to say invalid because I don't have a notebook uh, chosen. Now you'll see this new feature tells you that that's invalid, but if you would like, we can deactivate this for you. Now you can always manually do this, which is the video I have on the channel, but where this really comes, becomes powerful is if I have a series of other activities on here. So if I have something else like another copy data on here, then I know I have to move the data out of, let's say the lake after that notebook runs and then move that data into a database. So I'm gonna do a copy data next, but I'm not ready to configure that yet because the, the engineer has not told me yet where the data is gonna be. Uh, be stored, so I don't have the source yet for my copy data. Well, if I try to save this, it's going to say you can't do that. You have all of these uh, things that are invalid yet. Now, if you just click the activate activities at the bottom, your pipeline becomes valid and you can save and you can keep on working. Okay. So essentially, it's a real helper uh, for being able to take your in-progress work and save it inside of the workspace in Fabric. And that's it for today. So thanks for watching and enjoy using Fabric.